Hi guys, welcome back to uh, Salt and Light. Uh, in today's video, we're going to head back in time a little bit. We're going to look at putting the side panels onto the inner sides of the hulls. We'll also look at the bolts, uh, which will attach to the front uh, of uh, the hull uh, via the beam block. And uh, we'll look at how uh, those bolts are held in. To start the process off, uh, we glue as many panels together as we can. Uh, that way, uh, that will give us a nice uh, flat surface to work with. The surface preparation is absolute key uh, to making sure that you get a really good um, bond uh, with the resin. So here I am, I'm just sanding off the back of the uh, panels that have been glued together uh, just to make sure that uh, I'll get the absolute best bond I can uh, when uh, we finally glue these onto the stringers. And of course, uh, most of the time I'm working by myself, so it can be a bit tricky trying to move these panels around by myself, but you know, a bit of bar on the floor uh, works as a roller, and then some chain blocks, and uh, I was able to lift it all into place. And once I've got the panel um, sitting in the right position, I'm then able to uh, mark around um, the stringers and mark where uh, my screw holes are going to go uh, so I can drill those holes. I also, I didn't show it on the video, but I cut some timber blocks and put underneath the panel uh, so that when I go to lift it up to screw it on, uh, I can just drop it straight onto those blocks and it will sit at the right height. This panel here was, I found, um, the most difficult panel to fit on all of them. Uh, it sits between bulkhead uh, D and bulkhead G, uh, and there's two um, extension parts that come out, uh, and that'll be used to join uh, the bridge deck together. The panel had to fit in between uh, those two bulkheads, uh, so it, it was a little bit tricky, not too hard, but you know, it just took a little bit of time, a little bit of fiddly, lifting it up, uh, getting it centered uh, onto the center line, and also um, being getting it into a position where it would match up with the uh, front panels and also the panels at the back. All right, so I've got, uh, got this piece fitted in and uh, it's fitting pretty nicely. Now I have on the flange, I, this, this side panel here, which I've already fitted, I've just made a mark on the, uh, on the flange as to where, you can see there it is there. That's where the, um, that's the center line. And then uh, this piece here, that's the mark of the, um, of the next piece, next skin. Uh, and so when we, it's going to be a bit hard to see, but it's it's maybe a millimetre overlapping. Uh, so I'm just going to need to um, shuffle this piece um, yeah, back that way one mil, or, or take it the other way one millimetre. It's not much at all, so uh, very close. Looking really good, and you can see right along the top edge. Um, it's it's right on the center line and uh, yeah lines up great so this is the very front panel um, we're getting it ready to uh, glue on so we just go through and right at the very front where the stem is uh, we give that a couple of coats of epoxy before we fit it on now this we won't have any access to this area uh, once the panel goes on so uh, we're making sure that it gets a couple of good coats of epoxy um, before it goes on. And also the stem uh, itself, we, we give that a couple of good coats of epoxy uh, to seal it all up. And then it's just a matter of going through and, and painting um, resin onto all the stringers and 
uh, also onto the panel where the stringers are. We come back later with some thickened epoxy uh, which we put onto the stringers and and then we lift the panel into place and and just screw it in, into position. It's quite amazing how little um, stress there is on uh, the panel uh, in, in terms of fitting it. It just sits there nicely. There's no um, real pushing or twisting or anything. To, the panel sits quite naturally uh, against the hull. Yes, I just found the whole process uh, quite uh, easy to do and it's great having a couple of guys to come along and help as well. So at this point we're lifting the uh, panel up and we're just going to drop it onto the blocks uh, that I've already preset and that will keep it at the exact right height uh, for us to be able to screw it into place and we can remove all the straps. So before I can put the uh, outside side panels on I need to put in the bolts uh, that are going to hold the four beam into place. Uh, you can see here uh, that the bolts are inset into a uh, plywood uh, beam block uh, at the top of the hull. Uh, now, uh, the four beam itself is a little bit different. There's actually six bolts, which is fine. Um, and the important thing is that I want to keep the center of the four beam um, in that position uh, that's shown on the drawing. Uh, the bracket is a little bit different, as you can see here. The important thing is, is that the four beam uh, lines up uh, as per the drawing on both axes uh, on the center. And you can see here on this drawing that it's got to line up. The center of the four beam has to line up with bulkhead A. I've had uh, plates, uh, stainless steel plates made up uh, with uh, nuts uh, welded on uh, to the back of the plate at the same centers of the, as the four beam. So I've cut a couple of pieces of plywood which I'm going to just clamp onto here, uh, drill through the holes here, uh, and then I'll be able to take this uh, onto and line it up onto the hole uh, and drill the holes through. So uh, uh, that's the plan. Center between these holes, um, mark the center line on here, line that up with the, uh, the center of um, bulkhead A, and then I'll just be able to, to mount this, uh, fix this onto the hole, 
yeah, drill through these holes uh, in through the hole uh, and then um, that'll give me uh, the exact dead centers uh, for these bolts. To glue the bolts in place uh, by using a syringe I was able to fill the holes uh, just with plain epoxy resin uh, just to seal the holes up and then I was able to push the bolts in and then from one side only um, force thickened epoxy resin uh, using the syringe uh, through so then it oozed out uh, back and uh, was completely encapsulated in the thickened epoxy resin. And once I could see that the resin was oozing out uh, the back of the hole, uh, then I was able to uh, bring the metal plates and screw the threaded rod into the metal plates and that way holding uh, those bolts nice and secure. Well that's it for, uh, for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, please give us a like and a subscribe. And also uh, leave us a comment, you know, I'd love to read your comments. So yeah, well we'll see you in the next video.